Hey, this is uh, Hazza, and he is doing a private free-for-all on High Rise. Now, for anyone that, like, is like, why is he doing a private match? And if it's not as much private match, it's no scopes and quick scopes and whatever else quick scopes you want to do, and apart from hard scopes, hard scopes are bad. But, and uh, throwing knives. And um, for anyone that's wondering why I'm doing this, it's simply because I want to. <laughs> There's no other reason. Uh, no, it's because I'm not really, I'm not doing that good. I'm not playing the game as much as I was. Uh, Heavy Rain came out on Friday in Britain. Even though, uh, why is it that Americans get the game like three days early? It's so unfair. I mean, Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain was developed in Britain. Why is it coming out? Did it come out in well, wherever you call it first? It's just not fair at all. But anyway, I've been playing Heavy Rain a lot. Playing a lot of the games in versus Predator, which sucks. But you know, what can you do? And uh, yeah, playing a lot of the games. And I was, I just thought, right, I haven't made a video in a while, so why not? Just film this private. I'll get some decent quick scopes uh, if I, I can try, and then we can upload it, put some commentary to it. Might get some decent shots. People will be like, "Go wow!" So in this video, I wanted to give a bit more information about me and what I do. Um, so I'm Haza. I'm not going to tell you my real name, obviously, because. Basically, I don't want to be sexually groomed, even though if someone tried it, they would get a fist in their face. But anyway. I live in Britain, obviously. I live in a town that ends with the word pool. And is by the sea. And has a tower at the top of it. If you live in Britain, you probably know where it is. If you live anywhere else, you could probably find out by googling. But I can't bother saying the name because I just can't bother. Um, I am at college, six form to be precise, and I am studying physics, maths, electronics, and computing. And uh, a lot of my, a lot of these courses, like there's very very little coursework involved it's more like homework and like questions for exams so I do this homework there was a nice little back to back um, quick scope there and I have a lot of free time over the weekend so I like to play games if anyone has anything to say about that shut your mouth um, and it's so I like to play games and I decided like I'm playing I just had to record this game because I was bored. And Squeeze wanted to get wanted some film of himself. And um, actually that's a good point I should have mentioned. I'm playing with uh, three of the people, three guys, good mates of mine on Xbox Live. I've never met them in real life, but I've known them for nearly two years now. In fact longer. But it, they are Squeeze, Deadly Piranha, and Chronix. And they are really cool guys. Deadly Piranhas, obviously, if you can manage to see the scoreboard um, while the game, while while the video is still running, you'll see that Deadly Piranha is always at the top because he pones with that sniper rifle. He's third prestige, but um, he's only used the sniper all the way to that third prestige, whereas. Me and Squeeze. Squeeze, by the way, um, that tenth prestige is been properly gotten, not boosted, not hacked. He's good at the game. He has played a while. With, he'll played it a while. If anyone goes, oh, that's sad. If it was sad, why the hell would Infinity Ward make it so that you're able to get to that kind of level? Um. If I mean, if you like the game, then you're gonna play it. Wes, not Wes. Sorry, Wes. 
That's Squeeze's name. Um, Squeeze likes the game. Um, so he's gonna like play it more often. If he plays it more often, he's gonna rank up. Play Search and Destroy. Owned it. Gets like 10 plus kills every like game. And he pawns. So there you go. And he's 10th prestige. Um, Deli Piranha. Um, he's only 3rd prestige, but he's used a sniper all the way there. I'd like to say that me and Squeeze were the first people to come up with the Russian class. Actually, Squeeze came up with it more than I did, but I, we both kind of like worked together on getting good routes through search and destroy maps. And there's a nice little, there's a little slow motion clip coming up in a minute. You'll see it. It's a nice little uh, 360 no scope that I think is rather sexy. It's about to come up in a minute. Unfortunately, it's me that gets uh, 360. But I'll show you the kill cam. Watch this. Oh, yes. Um, we're using, we're doing quick scopes and throwing knives and stuff like that. Um, what I, one thing that I don't understand about the like the montage world and commentaries and like skill level and stuff like that is why that by not using a sniper properly, that is looking through the scope. Not by not using the sky sniper properly is in not using not looking through the scope and just blind firing. Is that why is that skillful? I mean, surely you are skilled at using the weapon if you are able to use it properly. I mean, I know it's a game and everything, but like, it just doesn't like make sense to me. It doesn't it doesn't seem logical and very much like that. Um, but. No scoping's fun, I have to say. I mean, it's like... It's a mess around game, so... It's a game, mess around in it, have fun with it. Pl mess with the mechanics. One shot kill, plus 50. Um, I'm also using throwing knives. Um, a couple of people using throwing knives. I'd like to say that I'm probably the best in this lobby, in this game, at using throwing knives. Simply because uh, I've been using them since the game started. As soon as I hit level 7, throwing knives was usually my equipment. And um, I was just like, practiced with them. I, I literally like, call me side if you want, I'm not bothered. But I would literally go into a private match of just me on Rust. And I would practice hitting sp specific points on the map. So like... I would try and hit like the very highest point of the tower in the middle of the map, and if I could, then I'd be quite happy with myself. Um, but I think that throwing knives are underused. Um, they're like the the they are the in between of knifing and shooting, and they're extremely useful. I think when you have a weapon that isn't silenced, because you can take them out from far range, yet you, you don't come up on the map as a red dot because you've shot or anything. And to me, that's really useful because staying, keeping your position hidden is one of the most important things about this game. Is that if you can, if you can get into the mind of the opponent and trick them into thinking wherever they are or whatever, I sound like some sort of weirdo now. But if you can get into the mind of the opponent and like stop them from stop them from knowing where you are, then that's a good thing as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so throwing knives are extremely useful. Um, I know semtexes and stuff are as well, but they just don't have the precision that a throwing knife has, in my opinion. Now, the, I get it's coming up to the end. I get collateraled here. Yep, collateraled. I'll show it yet. I'll tell you, Deadly Piranha is such a good sniper. It's complete luck. He had no idea I was there, but you know. 
Um, this is the end of the video, guys. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of black at the end. But thanks for watching. Um, I'm glad you are watching. And I'll see you soon. Bye.